Hey guys, it's Steel Ball Gloves here. Coming at you with a glove review. This is going to be a review of my 44 Pro Signature Series pitching uh, model. Uh, I get to the specs and then talk about like more in depth in the glove. So this glove is tan, uh, palm, oh, throughout the glove, palm, back, wrist, uh, wingtips, and then navy blue uh, for the web, stitching, welting, binding, um, and the laces. 44 is um, tan, it looks more like uh, a yellow, not a tan color, which is okay. But 44 is a great company usually. Uh, leather is great. Uh, the, uh, the liner is great. It feels really comfortable. But a, some 44 gloves come with cosmetic errors. I, I'll call it that. What I mean by this is I got this glove with, uh, if you could see, they're like bumps. It was a lot worse when it came. But I have started pounding it out, so it's not that bad anymore. And the finger hood is slanted sideways it's on the slant this way, which forces your finger to go that way in the glove like this. Right like that. Um, usually with 44, I'll be show this glove. The palm, it doesn't have any bumps or bubbles in it. It's a pretty, like I'd say, perfect palm. You, most of my 44s are like this. Just this one came pretty bubbly, I guess you could say. But other than that, the lace quality is amazing for colored lace. It's pretty um, thick and uh, not hard. It's bendable soft, which I like in my laces. I got this with the gill lacing. The gill lacing, I think, just makes the a thumb and pinky inserts uh, stronger. So it's, it is harder to flare because of that, but um, that's okay, because I'm gonna use this for pitching form. I don't really care about my form. Uh, here's a ball in the pocket. So breaking this in. It has a pretty bad close, so you have a close like that. I want to close it more like um, two hinge close, but I just wanted to break in with a one hinge close. And yeah, it started to bubble as soon as I start to close it, so I'm just pound that out. When I first got this glove, it's kind of hard to see. Let's try this angle. I'll try to get it more light. If you could see there, you can see a bit of light. That's adhesive. Whenever I'd close the glove, adhesive would come out. This is the first time this has happened to me. I don't know why this happens, but after like I'd say two, three days of squeezing and cleaning um, adhesive that is coming out of the lace holes, it has gone down a bit, but it is a little bit sticky in the palm liner now, which is fine. Um, I got it with extra long lacing, which is nice. It looks cool. 44, you can customize anything. This glove is a prime example of that. You have uh, the reverse K. You can put a cross, the um, uh, Star of David, anything on here. Uh, inside the 44 uh, logo and I put the Canadian flag you can also put writing here on the pinky and in the liner like this glove I have um, writing here and gold stamp so 44 is great customization so if you're looking to buy a cheaper glove cheaper custom glove but great quality I go with 44 it's kip leather really soft to the touch it feels great breaks in well but just so you know if you order it your 44 can come with a bit of cosmetic flaws if it does 44 is happy to look at it and try to fix it if there is something wrong with it but i don't really care because it's just a, a few bubbles and a slanted finger hood it's not nothing too big that won't affect my play but um, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.